Hello, Quincy. Mayor Koch here with a COVID-19 update. And we've heard a lot about uh, the potential second surge, and we are now experiencing that. I know, as I've explained to you over the last uh, several days, actually a couple of weeks, that we've been hovering uh, the yellow, getting close to the red. Uh, unfortunately, we are now into the red. You will see in tomorrow's state maps that will be issued, they periodically update based on the averages that uh, we will now be in the red. We're joining 40 other cities and towns in Massachusetts that are in the red. And as you may recall, that means uh, when you go over eight per 100,000 people, uh, it goes into the red. Now we're just barely into the red. Uh, some communities are dealing with uh, some much higher numbers. So we're on, the, on the average, we're better than average in the red. Uh, but nonetheless, we are in the red. This doesn't really change any of the guidelines or rules at this point, uh, with the exception of uh, perhaps if we stay in this zone that the outside gathering may reduce from 100 to 50. Uh, other than that, all, all other things being equal, uh, things should stay the same. Now, one of the things to note in this, uh, up through uh, the first few months of this, the average age uh, through the testing, uh, getting the sickness, was 56 years old. Uh, since September, that average age has dropped to 36 years old which means obviously the pandemic and this uh, illness is affecting people far younger. Uh, many of them don't, don't show the signs of it. Some do show, show the signs of it, but most cases they recover pretty easily. Uh, having said that, it's another reminder that we got to continue to do what we're doing. And as somebody said on social media, I'm sick of the mayor saying, wear your mask and wash your hands. Well, that is the message. Uh, that's a reminder that we got to continue to social distance. We got to continue to wear the masks. I was talking to the head of Beth Israel uh, Hospital this week, and uh, he's talking about how the mask makes a difference because the, the, you can get different sizes or volume of the disease based on the mask. So if you have minimal, then your sickness is less. So I learned something every day about, about this pandemic and, and what we're dealing with. Uh, but back to the point, wear your mask, social distancing, no large gatherings. I know we're coming, out, coming up to the holidays, and that's going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, for people, but we got to keep in mind, we got to watch out for our particular elderly and those people that are susceptible with underlying uh, health conditions. Uh, you're going to see some charts as, as we speak here. Uh, charts show the two-week average positive test rate. We're hovering now about 1.5. Uh, it was as high as 3% in July. Um, so that, that's a decent number, actually. Um, the statewide positivity rate during the early days of the pan pandemic was in the 20s. So we're you know, we, we had a major, obviously, influx uh, initially. The summer uh, stabilized. We went down. We were in the green. We're back to the yellow. Now we're into the red. And um, as I said, we got to continue to do what we can. I think as a community, as a city, uh, as citizens, I think uh, people are taking it seriously and doing what they need to do. Uh, so please, you know, stay tuned on that stuff. Uh, the last thing I did want to mention is that uh, this weekend is Halloween. And as you know, the city of Quincy has not uh, cancel Halloween as some communities have, but we are suggesting that uh, whatever you're comfortable with, if you're comfortable going out, then go out, again, following the guidelines. If you're comfortable giving out candy, then put your light on and do what you need to do. And if you're not comfortable, shut the light off. If you're not comfortable, don't go out. Uh, we're leaving this up to you to make that decision. Um, so uh, in saying that, I also encourage you to please be careful out there. That uh, a lot of young people could be walking the streets, going trick-or-treating, so if you're driving, be extra careful on this weekend. Uh, I encourage families that are taking the kids out to have flashlights and, uh, so that people can see them when they're out and about and be very careful crossing the streets. So uh, with that, that is the latest update. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Stay tuned for future updates. Uh, stay well and God bless.